Hello fellow armchair generals, this is Gamer1745 here with a restart of War Plan. We're still playing as Germany. We will play it from the Allied side. I, I want to play it from there as well. But the version that you've seen me play earlier has been with a pre-release beta version. This is now the um, with the point zero zero three or whatever um, update to it uh, bug fix. So there's been a lot of bug fixes happening since um, what we saw played, and I really thought that, and I've learned the game a lot better. Um, so it was it's worthy of a restart without say playing the allies or something completely different along those lines. So yeah, we're back to this. And before we get started, if you haven't already, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. And of course, everyone can hit that, um, you know, thumbs up, like the video, smash that button. And so I'll give you a moment to do that. Okay, great. Thanks. I hope you did. Um, it really helps the channel out. So we, the goal is a two-turn victory here for um, Warsaw, or taking Warsaw, take, defeating Poland. I don't see a f trying to do it faster in a single turn might be technically possible. Uh, well, that uses up all of it, so we have to kill that first. And then a push straight to there. That might be possible. Um, Maybe take those two out. And then get right into there and hit it. And take it out with a lot of air power. But um, but you also have to take out, um, or the capital move, take out Krakow and other places as well. So, but, you know, I don't really see an overly useful um, plan with that. You know that it, that it benefits you in some way yeah I know you get the um, economic benefits one turn earlier well, we're going to hit him with just one airstrike we're probably not going to take him down this turn but we're going to hammer them nonetheless I think I need to turn the audio down a little bit more. This is um, in a new install version, so it doesn't have my old settings in it. Okay. Now, we're going to use, try to efficiently use air power here. See, so used one as an escort here, which is much better than having my bombers all shot down. Wow, they held out with that. Okay, they're gone. That's what I, that's what I needed from them is to be gone. I didn't want to overly use up my air power. Mm, or either way. the railways light air strike moderate one good do this just to make sure we hit it hard. I knew we weren't going to take it or didn't think we would. Yeah, that can 
cut the railways, but it isn't going to take that. Fairly heavy hit. Two to one is nice, but not. I'm sort of thinking as sufficient. Okay, now, mostly what I'm judging here is the use of my air power. Now here, I waited here um, to get this one because sometimes this unit will retreat up into this area which will get in the way of my panzer advance. So we are, um, I've also been asked some of them, uh, some of the viewers to explain what I'm doing a little bit more and why. Um, Selecting this, um, well, okay, let me just click over here. If I do this and then I hold down control, um, it'll select both of these units so that we can ha attack together. So four to one, and then I'm right clicking on this and similarly doing the same. Uh, we don't want to. You can sort of do forced marches, which reduces your organization and everything. Um, I, but I don't need to do that there. I don't think. Um, no, we did, but we will hit this. Now, why did I attack again? Is it going to matter really to taking, winning, or losing the battle? You're probably not. But what it will do is. Um, potentially give my forces a little more experience for you know, it's, it's a 6 to 1 though they did have a river defense bonus and here we can either do 4 to 1 or we can do uh, 4 to 1 with the river I think we'll just do 4 to 1 without the river um no other air power. Even a light air power get them a little less organized, a little less entrenched. Still didn't take them down. I'm not going to pursue this attack again because I don't want to weaken this. We can see it's already at 27 out of 30 possible strength. Um, yeah, it'll get... repositioned. We're going to come over here with these guys. That did sort of a force march, so it reduced them down. They're already weak anyways. But um, get them down here just to sort of occupy here, cut off rails so they can't just um, again, we can see here uh, 
here. This is a good example. We could rail move this anywhere along the rails that we properly control. We did not control this at the beginning of the turn, so it's not considered properly controlled. So um, anywhere along at the start of the turn, we can rail move. But now by cutting that off, even if they retake it, they still can't you know, evacuate units via the railway, like from there down to here to reinforce down in Krakow or something like that. So we're, we're trying to cut the railways as much as we can. That's sort of what we're doing here also for supply purposes. Um, again, we can look at supply here. This is um, shows our current uh, supply. Now, we're going to come down here. And what I'm going to do here for Italy I'm going to convert this to a garrison status, which uses less resources to maintain it. Uh, these are all the rest. Art garrison. Um, yeah. That is garrison right now, and so is that. Okay. And so is that. Now, Italy is going to spend a few turns sort of we're, uh, working some of these units up. Um, well, maybe just the ones out here that are less than full strength. But it's also, we can look at um, Italy here, that it gets, uh, I'll click on Italy, seven oil with a five oil upkeep, and it has 12 stockpiles. Now, Germany doesn't have a huge excess of oil, but... I think we can afford to create a trade now early on to give get them stockpiling. Let's go with six. We'll create a trade to there. Neutral countries can't send a receiver. Okay, so we have to wait till they're at war to start that up. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm also going to put these guys on garrison as well. As we get near to the any real war, we can um, reactivate them to full status to hopefully use less supply needs and whatnot. So we're doing that to them. We already have, uh, starting now, all of the west front on garrison i'm going to move these guys are going to take their two full action points get them forward to here submarines that's still too noisy you can comment in the comment section if you think i should turn the audio down a bit more let's head out to there just get out to sea now, on production, I want to stockpile up for Germany, but, but I want to get in production, like extra couple of shipyards. So that will use that up. Now, I know the Allies will be bombing us. So what I'm going to do is come here. I want to convert to an air bomb airfields instead of ground units. We're going to do a fighter strike here. Well, we lost four versus there, too. Now here, we're also going to do that. Here. Now, they lost a lot more. Okay. Now we can see again on ours. No. One more click. 18 to versus 20 possible. And that's 15 versus 20 possible. We're going to prioritize these for reinforcements okay and which we're going to move this up and probably would have actually been better to move especially that one up to um yeah let's move you up and we'll move you up i'm gonna move
moving there's reason there, the reason i'm trying to keep the hqs on um rail lines is to help with the supply and also when i'm getting ready to shift to the west they'll already be there to ship fast across to the west okay so that gets just about everybody in a command range mostly well supplied so i think we are doing good with that i'm trying to think is there anything else i wanted to do starting opening moves uh, yeah let's do this we're going to pick these guys up and put them on railways these are um just divisions which would will be useful in garrisoning france and i will be building more of those but early on we need to garrison poland and i'd rather have these units doing garrison work here while moving the cores west so i like that i think that's good right okay so let's end the turn fighters are responding to their this core because of movement and things it lost its you know it lost its connection to germany so it doesn't have supply right now but we will i'm um, not worried about that because eventually it'll be pushed back into germany because poland will be surrendering now notice we are getting some bad weather up here fortunately not over the rest of poland so it won't cause us any problems at all now i want to make sure I, I want warsaw to be sort of the final nail in the coffin as it were so they're not worrying about moving its capital let's see about taking out Poznan here yeah i'm just sort of cleaning all that up just because like i say for that can reach one with the river yeah we'll take that so hopefully building up experience um, by taking out some of these moderately weak units gratuitous and uh, not quite the range to get up to there okay but we can bomb Warsaw sort of the tradition just unnecessary bomb to an unnecessary unnecessary level of Warsaw make sure that
Yeah, let's move in and take that. There we go. I said these will be pushed back out, but just for victory point conditions, not are not really necessary, but just working on things now, what we're gonna do here is start the westward movement with the units that we want to go west. get some of these guys onto the rails now these are some of the units we want to go east because these are just divisions two X's are divisions they do again if you haven't um, uh, or, or if you don't already know there is a more um, graphical you know men tanks kind of um, symbols for the units as well if you prefer that look you can quote unquote read that better i read this naturally almost better than some of that other stuff okay we're going to come out here and we're going to sit on the um i think it is active but we can check here you can see active both land as well as um see um trade line supply not just su not supplies in the field so much but supplying your industry so if um it will revert to other pathways for land other rail routes if say partisans or whatever stop this one out and there's well i guess going from north to south there's only through yugoslavia there's only this one so you better control this but if say up here gets cut it will reroute through other paths on along the rails as far as i understand so um we need to keep that in mind okay now okay so we have a stockpile on uh, for germany not that big um we want to get an armor unit built as soon as we can um for italy we're still just um it's production it's upkeep it's stockpile it's actually doing more than its production right now we're going to get its army ready for war so we're going to just let that be um yeah we're going to move that here to there to be very ready to go after it. Okay. We're also going to airstrike here. We took a little heavier than they did. I think. But what I want to, I want to keep them from ha pounding on my air forces, and I have been able to destroy some of their air power in the past oh wait the turn there's not a huge rush to get west because weather gets really sucky that i don't want to invade the low countries with so yeah all right okay i'm just looking for anything i mm. Well, as well as just trying to gain experience. Uh, there we go. And oh, well, they're awfully weak. Um, yeah, there we go. A little more experience to shatter. Okay, just sort of experience grinding, as it were. 
unit has no supply, so yeah, well, we've already solved that one. Okay, so let's end the turn here. Are you sure, production? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That all becomes Soviet. These units, as you can see, are popping around a little bit, getting to... Friendly territory, as it were. Okay, they're coming in after us. Okay, yes, a few div divisions get pushed into friendly hexes, as we can see there. Convoy group on the North Atlantic convoy lane sinks two convoys. Germany annexes Western Poland. So, yeah, um, all expected here. Now, don't forget, we have to keep, if we want to keep the Soviets from starting a clock or a countdown of, of some sort to attacking us, we need to keep six um ground units within 10 hexes of Warsaw. Like I move these divisions over here, they can be some of the divisions or a bit weaker cores instead of a full um, 30 strength core. This is a, just a 20 strength core. So we might as well have these in the west. Now, if I were to drive these here, they use up oil. So we're going to um, take them via train. But I am going to put, well, well, um, let's try a rail movement for these guys. Um, Let's see how much we're okay. Yeah, I think we'll fly fly most of them because we'll just get over. Well, we'll save that until a little bit later. Let's move. We've got a lot to get over here. To get start with the cores, almost said divisions that are okay. We can't move any more cores, so yeah, let's move. Well, they're not on rail, okay. Um, that's the other thing is, is you can try to keep your air units a bit more on rail, and that would help that out for supply reasons or rail transport reasons. I tend to like to keep units like these if I if I remember. I don't always remember, of course. Um, based on rail lines. Okay, so um, if we're gonna move them. We might as well move them there distance these are frontier guards so we're gonna move them this way as opposed to here which is a little bit under strength currently because of combat losses but otherwise a full strength core HQs are much smaller um, are, are Take much less rail needs. Oh, Blastwitz isn't very good. Um, Walter von Reichenau, a very odious person. Ah. 
if you see me struggling to scroll around a bit, um, don't don't feel I got uh, one a couple of cheap extra monitors that my cursor just goes off the the thing as the way it's set. One of them even has really bad artifacts in part of it, but it just for when doing live streams and that type of thing. Um, have an extra monitor there. Okay, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five. And for the moment, six, but we may get some other units to stay in the east. You could leave a core HQ, I guess. That would be fine. Did we move these guys? Oh, we need to move these guys so they don't get attacked again and sunk or attacked and sunk okay um let's bomb the fighters first ooh five losses and then only one for us presumably from escorting fighters and there we go okay so we're we're wrecking the French Air Force there. Yeah, we'll we'll wait for more of our, our Air Force to move east or west, sorry. And now production. We should, yes have enough for a proper armored division. I'm gonna take everything. Um I also want a mechanized core for the invasion of France, but we can see it takes 130 days. To build a mechanized core or to train it or whatever you want to call it for 200 for the armor so we're going to go right now for that armor and we're going to purchase that and that should give us uh oh shoot. yeah first ss i keep forgetting to, to select a different one um april so april should be in time for our may planned um, invasion of France so that would be good and we also need to remember to bring in a few of their forces probably these guys instead of continuing to move them to the west move them up here for the attack on Denmark and Norway Okay, so we've got all of that. I don't really think there's much I want to do with Italy at the moment. And they've done some improvements to the map, minor ones. I gather there's now a beach here for Gibraltar to be able to um, do a, a naval invasion. There are beaches like that's, I think, a beach hex for Malta to be able to do that as well. But we will see. This game is, is still being worked on. It's still being improved. So, um, yeah, it's not in its desired state yet. Um, yeah, I think that's... Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, we're fully utilizing our research, and we'll just let that continue.
Okay. Two group or the two groups on the South Atlantic convoy lane sunk three convoys. Very good. Now double rain drops or double snow drops means no or, or heavy um, rain or snow, but no offensive air operations of any type. So it's not super rare, but it's somewhat. Okay, now we're going to, well, hmm. yeah, I think we have the time. Let's just, since we're not going to operate, I save the oil, continue to stockpile the oil. We're going to move the, oh, not a valid airfield. Okay. Um, there we go. Move these shorter range bombers right sort of close in here so they have the most flexibility. Is that yeah, suitable airfield? Very good. Where the longer range ones. We can have them stand back a little bit more. Okay. Um, I want to build another fighter unit. Well, I want to build a bunch of fighter units, of course. Oh, let's face off down here oh, against the French. Okay, so that doesn't leave us much in the way of, you know, these are the frontier guards, so well, you can see that with the rain it also really bogs down units, so let's move some of the guys in the back forward. And basically crawl most of the rest of the units. I don't think the heavy rains are going to persist. At least that's not been my experience with them. Okay, I think that's all the very short movement we'll get with this. Well, we're going to move, start heading you back because we're going to be running out of supplies. So but we'll sit on this line for a half a turn, sink some more. Now back to building things. Okay, Germany is still just stockpiling up, and so is Italy. Its upkeep is so high, like I said, because it's um, basically um, filling out these units as it can. See, it's already at 19, and it's just at 14 out of 20 possible. So, yeah, it's, you know, building Carcano rifles just to um, equip their soldiers. Well, I think I did all that I can for this rather wet and rainy turn. I like the idea that, that things aren't absolute in the weather. It's It can be clear weather, which is great, uh, but it's Rain or heavy rain, it's not just rain or no rain.
I suspect next turn it will be just standard rain, but we will see, and it is seasonally based. May even go into, well, October isn't really a snow season, I don't think, in Europe. Okay, we sunk four convoys, and fleet has low supplies now. All right. Yep, down to just standard rain. So with standard rain, let's see what we can do here. Let's airstrike these guys. Okay, about equal losses. No losses for either side. And yes, I know I'm using up my fuel. They just took three strength losses, so... That's the only one that's in their range. We're fine. We're bombing the hell out of their airfields. Very good. Let's see. Do we have... Oh, here. And finally, no losses. Okay, so we've really bombed their air, French Air Force pretty damn badly. Well, let's walk you to there and then we'll. You get you to there. Just checking here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is one of those. This is the Frontier Guards Corps. Great, we'll keep you in Warsaw. Let's walk you west. We'll get you on train soon. Well, there we go. Now. Yeah, we'll just come up to here, come down to here, so next turn we'll be in port to get some supplies. There we go. We're getting, we're shifting west. We have the time. Now, production again, yeah, um, just got to get over that to get, okay, we're going to do, I want to see if it changes for this turn now, okay, I should have maybe done that before, because we do need to have upkeep and reinforcements, but, 
um, needs most assuredly, but I thought I think we will next turn reduce that down. We'll go back up soon. After a turn or so. The invasion of Poland was almost an, just an impulse move by Hitler. It was the Wehrmacht, or the yeah, the, Wehrmacht, the overall had to scramble to be ready to get units ready. It was like, hey, yeah, you're sort of stationed in the east. Let's just sort of like everybody get in the trucks or start marching or form up these units. Just what they could get there fast enough. They had a lot of units deployed in the east, no doubt, but. It really wasn't a well-planned or well-organized thing. And, okay, France's bomber group was destroyed. Very good. That's what I wanted to see happen. And so, with that happening that way, um, we'll come down here, come into port. And I know we have the submarine ready, so we're going to, that submarine, I want to deploy them as a different a different route for next turn we'll be moving out to units and so although there is a significant need to shift to the west to do it to, to start a war and then go oh yeah we're starting this war oh yeah um then what you got three months four months four plus months before we can really even think about attacking you yeah, that just is not the way to do these things. Okay, you come up. You really, you know, need a more vigorous plan of offense. Yeah, let's. We're going to move. I normally like to keep HQs on rail lines, but this will allow us to move up the cores rapidly near the front. These guys up. They're a little too far back. Okay, these guys. And hopefully effectively. Oh, um... I had another... Only the three heavy bomber. Oh, here it is. There is the fourth, yes. Okay, so we've pounded on them fairly heavily. We've taken out their bombers. Messed up their fighters. Uh... Yeah, let's move the frontier guards to there. These guys 
skeleton camp, the skeleton camp is there. Uh, yeah, we'll try to remember to put them on trains next turn. And move them east. Okay, well, I think at this point we're going to end this episode. Like I said earlier, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can hit that like button. Um, really love hearing from you, so please post questions, comments, tips, suggestions, anything about the game. I can always pass anything really significant on to Alvaro, the developer. You know, I have gotten to know each other a bit. So, um, which does, as I made in a comment, doesn't make me an objective reviewer, and I don't claim to be a reviewer. I'm a presenter of these games, which is a different sort of category. Um, but still, I do look at them with a critical eye. Uh, you can look at our earlier episodes that were made during the live stream in which Alvaro is on, and I'm criticizing his games. So, yeah, it's um, not, um, you know, purely cheerleading for the game but uh, i can pass stuff on to him but just generally um, now you can of course too he's very active in the forum for the game and so you can directly contact him that way um so come back next time for more historical gaming <laughs>